The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of BoatTest.com and its test captain. The new Cruisers 520 Sports Coupe is built to exacting standards with CAD CAM design and CNC machining. Much of the interior is modular which enhances plumbing, wiring, and precision fit. Some may say the new 520 Sports Coupe is overbuilt, but Cruiser's yacht's standard of excellence is distinctive and timeless, and its design is guaranteed to deliver the ultimate in lifestyle and experience. The Coupe design is new for 2009, taking the hardtop a step further. The Coupe offers full protection to the cockpit with the addition of canvas and isinglass across the aft end of the cockpit. Extending your boating season and cruising in any kind of weather couldn't be easier. Adding sun and fresh air into the cockpit is as simple as rolling down your car window with the electric roof overhead. Cooling the cockpit is also easier as you only have the aft canvas to add to prevent mixing outside air in. Let's talk about one of the valuable options on board, the hydraulic swim platform. If you're into cruising, that's going to be a valuable piece for you. It makes launching and recovering your PWC or your dinghy quite easy. You simply lower the platform in, launch it or recover it, and bring it back up and you're off. Here's a wonderful idea that Cruiser's added, a rumble seat. Now you can set and enjoy the view from the stern of your boat. Another excellent design feature is the dual entry transom, where regardless of what side of the boat you have to the docks, getting on board is simple and safe. If you like the beauty of teak, but hate the effort it takes to keep it that way, Cruiser's offers a synthetic carefree decking for the swim platform, side walkways, and cockpit as an option. Save your strength for more important details as this yacht has a standard Maxwell windlass with anchor roller and anchor along with 180 feet of 3 8 chain to keep you in position while you party. Cruiser shows design savvy with the flexible aft cockpit seating. With the simple flip of switch, the aft bench can swing to port and complete a large U-shaped bench complete with an electric high-low table of high-gloss cherry. Serve delectable bites from the cockpit galley and never have to go below away from conversations. This galley includes a standard force tent electric grill, fifth refrigerator, stainless steel refrigerator, and separate ice maker, and plenty of room to be creative. Forward seating includes a companion lounge and a custom double wide helm captain seat with bolster. Go ahead, pamper yourself with the electric seat option for full adjustability and comfort. Cruisers chose to move the walkthrough over to port side, which I believe will be popular with some. I found it a little cramped to get through. The best design I've seen was on her little sister, the 420, with a center walkthrough that was wide open with the retractable top open. I'm down in the engine compartment of the 520 Sport Coupe. Now this has the triple IPS 600s, the standard engine is the D12. What you'll notice is the layout is very well thought through. I'm sitting on one of the battery boxes, there's another battery box on the other side, the cameraman's sitting on the uh, diesel generator. We have our water box over here for our air conditioners. You'll see the wall has got everything labeled very well, but notice how you can get around all the way around the engines. You can absolutely get to everything on the engine. You could probably do an in-frame rebuild on these engines right here in this space. The triple 435 horsepower Volvo Penta IPS D6 pod system allows us a chance to compare it to how it ran with twin inboard 715 horsepower Volvo Penta D12s before. With IPS, everyone will be able to take the helm even when docking. In the salon, Cruiser's done a lot of things right, and you would expect that in a boat that holds its value like Cruiser's does. Interior height is also very important for comfort, and we go to the bottom of the steps, and we've got 83 inches, quite nice. And at the lowest point, getting over here by the galley, we've got 82 inches to 81 inches. So we've got a lot of interior height that's gonna make you feel much more comfortable. It also opens up the space. Another thing that opens up space is they've taken advantage of the near vertical portals on here. We've got six in the salon, we've got six more in the, in the VIP statement. The flex steel sleeper sofa is very comfortable. With nearly 150 inches of horizontal seating space, the whole party can have a seat. The galley is roomy, joinery is beautiful with matching grains. The stemware cabinet is backlit to show off your best crystal, and you can serve your wine from the optional Danby 17 bottle capacity wine captain. Flooring is also Antico synthetic cherry and maple, and the counters are Mysterio solid surface. I'm standing inside the VIP stateroom or V-berth, whatever you want to call it, but when you got guests on board, it's going to be important for them to be comfortable as well. Here in the doorway, I've got about 74 inches of vertical height, and that carries back to the end of the bed, so I can stand here and change with the door closed and not feel like I'm really enclosed into space and real tight. The door does swing out into the salon, it has magnetic catch, I like that a lot. 
you'll find in the head you got about 75 inches of overhead space all the way into the shower which is enclosed and drains nicely toward the drain. Take a look at this as well. It's a dual entry head so you have a day head entry as well as a guest room entry. The 520 Sports Coupe measures 54 feet 3 and a half inches with the optional hydraulic swim platform and a beam of 15 feet 6 inches. She draws 44 inches and has a fuel capacity of 500 gallons. She has a solid fiberglass hull below the water line and balsa cord hull sides and deck. Around the through hulls the balsa cord is relieved and all fittings through the deck have aluminum backing plates laminated in. Cruiser's naval design and distribution of weight and balance deliver a smoother ride and more stability at rest. Drivability at the docks is incredibly simple with the triple IPS option. The 520 Sports Coupe has about 15 degrees of bow rise and about 3 degrees running angle. Visibility from the helm is good, although looking aft from the helm I did find there were some vision obstructions from the mullions and hardtop structure at the aft end of the cockpit. The Volvo Penta IPS drives had her up on plane in just 7.7 .7 seconds and running 30 miles per hour in 9.5. Her top speed was 41.5 miles an hour and her best cruising speed was 22.5 miles per hour. At top speed she burned 63 gallons per hour and at cruising speed she burned 23.4 gallons per hour. Compared to a prior test I did on the 520 with the twin 715 horsepower Volvo Penta D12 diesels, this model with IPS is 8% faster and 21% more efficient at top end. At cruising speed she is still able to cruise 19% slower and is 39% more efficient at cruise delivering 38 miles more at best cruise. In effect you're rolling back the fuel pumps to prices you haven't seen for quite some time. When you consider the value versus cost on the 520 Sport Cruiser, consider this. Many builders in her class right now are building boats from 17 feet on up. Cruisers focuses on boats that are 30 to 56 feet, so they can give you everything that you're looking for and then add value to that in those models.